Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show an example of working with drawing sprites and items as part of explaining tasks. So we've now seen how we can add multiple things to dialog boxes, text effects, text colors, and the ability to draw different things within those dialog boxes as well. So I previously discussed how these can be incredibly important for making more explicit what a player or user should be doing within a room. Should they be collecting things? interacting with things, what are they doing and who are they doing it with. This is really useful for making in instructions, making more explicit instructions by using the information we now know. So let's look at an example of what I'm talking about here. So in this room I have placed the default avatar as well as the default cat sprite. For the sprites dialog over here I've broken this out and it says hi I'm cat and then we'll look at drawing this in just a moment, page break. Please collect all the dishes, they look like this, dishes. So I've added an extra item over here, so let's go over to dish right here, and it has no dialog, so it won't show any, any information when the avatar interacts with it, but I've added four different dishes right here. For the sprite though, it says, hi, I'm cat, and then draws cat, and then please collect all the dishes, they look like this. So let's actually play this to see it in action to show what I'm talking about. So I want to make more explicit exactly what a player or user should be doing as part of this game. What should they be doing? Again, collecting, interacting, whatever, the verb they should be doing with some other corresponding noun represented visually somewhere in the space of this room. So to make this more explicit, I'm saying, hi, I'm Cat. Notice I'm putting right here in parentheses, notice right here in the dialogue, what the interaction is. I'm the avatar currently interacting with Cat who I've established with a capital C is the name rather than a description of what it is. Notice though that the cat right here is in parentheses to indicate this is an interaction with the particular sprite. Alternatively, right here, please collect all the dishes, they look like this, and then I've listed what the dish looks like, and that's what we see down here in this draw item with the dish and the four dishes right here. In each case, I've made it more explicit what the player or user should be doing. So I'm explaining the task. What should they do? They should collect the dishes. I've not really established a reason why, or even a reward for doing this, merely explaining what should be done. What should you do? You should go collect the dishes. Here's what they look like. Now the reason for doing this is again, we want to be more explicit about our instructions. Sometimes we find within Bitsy games, it can be kind of confusing for people who've not played them before about what they should be doing next. Should I be collecting keys? What exactly does a key look like? How do I interact? What does this do? And so by doing this, by drawing items and drawing sprites, along with the dialog boxes we already are doing, we can make more explicit these instructions. Again, a really useful tool as we explain to users and players what they should be doing. How do we progress the story? Well, you need to go do this next. You need to collect the key, or you need to collect T, or you need to do something else. So as we move forward thinking about how we make stories and games within Bitsy, we need to keep in mind that we should always be making the player aware of what they should be doing, or at least pointing them towards the direction of how they progress the story if it extends to multiple rooms or multiple points beyond the simple interactions we have within a single room. So in this example, fairly straightforward, but an important note about how we're giving that instructions to players or users. We're saying, hi, I'm a cat, in this case, interacting with a sprite. This is one approach. Alternatively, we're listing the items we would interact with, again, explaining the task. Please collect all the dishes. We're setting up the task. They look like this. Here's what you interact with. So as we build in our knowledge of Bitsy 8, we need to keep thinking through, how do we give information to players or users? What does it look like? How do we explain what they should be doing to progress the story? Again, should they be collecting or interacting or whatever verbs we're using to describe those mechanics? Using these drawing items, using this last option, an alternative perhaps text effects and text colors, help us to emphasize to a player or user, again, information. Here's what's going on. Here's what you should be doing next. Incredibly important information, especially in a tool like Bitsy, where we only really have dialogue boxes to explain things. So the more information we can give, the more context we can give about what a player or user should be doing within a story or game, the better off we're being, and the better off that they can understand our projects. 
as we create them within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.